This is a magnificent group of chalets in the Valley de l'Arve in the Savoie Mont Blanc region of the French Alps. Under the snowy peaks and the high pine forest, the rich green pastures are an ideal food source for the attractive local breed of Abondance cows. Their milk is used to make several exceptionally good cheeses, including Reblochon, one of France's favorites. This popular alpine potato dish called Tartiflette is traditionally made using Reblochon cheese. First, I cut cooked potatoes into slices. I cook two finely sliced onion in batter for a few minutes before adding some bacon. After a little while, I add the potatoes, seasoned with salt and pepper, and reheat. I then transfer the preparation to a battered oven dish and drizzle four tablespoons of crème fraîche on top. I cut the tasty cheese in half horizontally, then in half vertically, and place it skin side down on top of the potatoes. I pour half a glass of dry white wine into the dish before baking it in a hot oven for about 10 minutes. This dish is at its best when the cheese has just melted on top of the potato gratin, but it must not dry. Serve hot, sprinkle with chopped parsley. This tartiflette au reblochon smells so good and is truly irresistible. The century-old hotel, Amo Albert I in Chamonix, is home of one of the Alps' best restaurants. Owner chef, Pierre Maillet, spoils his guests with his superb cooking. A glance at the dessert trolley, full of superbly prepared pastries, is enough to make me wish I could stay in this place for a few weeks. Perrine, mon épouse et moi-même, sommes la cinquième génération. Ma cuisine, euh, je pense, elle est plutôt classique, inspirée des produits locaux. Et on a brisé un peu les frontières et on s'approvisionne aussi en Italie, parce que c'est juste de l'autre côté du, du Mont Blanc. Pierre's elegant cuisine is reflected in this asparagus dish. His signature dish is dark, glazed with local pine honey, and is served with a polenta ravioli filled with confit duck leg. It's perfectly cooked, tender and delicious. Another of his classic dishes is the outstanding freshwater fish called ferra, served with heirloom baby carrots and a line of confit lemon paste. A double-deck trolley is a showcase of the best and perfectly mature alpine cheeses. Fromage are my weakness, and this tour is almost finished. It's dessert time. I have a last look at the trolley, but Pierre's dessert chef is already preparing for me a souffle flavored with the wonderful herbal liqueur of green chartreuse made in the Alps. It is smartly served on a silverware circle. A very light, runny grand chartreuse custard is delicately poured in the center of the souffle, and a smooth grand chartreuse ice cream is an ideal accompaniment. This tour has spoiled me. Tomorrow we'll be in Paris and we will meet a great chef. <laughs>